welcome to this episode of Al's Garage. We're continuing work on our 1943 Willie's MB project. This is another in our seven part series of uh, our metal work, our sheet metal, body hammers, welding, all that fun stuff. So what we'll be tackling in this video is repair on this rear panel and in the wheel well. Now, at some point in the past, the rear wheel actually came off the vehicle while it was in motion it came up into this fender well so it's really beat up uh, and so what we'll be doing is we'll be pulling the uh, sheet metal out in this section after we get the toolbox lid and uh, rear wheel of course off uh, to give us some room in here uh, once we get that sheet metal out then we will be doing repair on this we'll get that nice and straight or as straight as I can get it. Uh, then from there, we're gonna be putting this replacement panel in. This is uh, out of a catalog. You can obviously order a lot of sheet metal parts for these uh, as rust was a big problem. But for this, we're gonna be uh, throwing this one in and uh, doing some spot welding or uh, you know the equivalent of spot welding with my welder. And then we'll be finishing it off and uh, basically closing it out here. So that, uh, that's going to take us to the end of this video and let's get started. So this video again is going to be broken down into three steps, one of which is removing this piece of sheet metal which is essentially where our toolbox houses all of our items. Uh, and then that will give us access to this panel which will be getting straight. Then we'll come back and uh, weld the new piece back in. So I've been kind of thinking about how I wanted to do that my first thought was to get back in here uh, with a drill and with a grinder, which I can do, but I can also get in here from the other side. Uh, as you can see, you know, there's a lot of different uh, spot welds that are visible now that I have all the paint off of this. So once I uh, get after this on this side, I can actually uh, go through with a drill and drill out the spot welds and then get to the, when I get to welding the new piece, uh, obviously I won't drill any holes in that and that way I can have sheet metal that will uh, uh, essentially be a backing uh, where I can weld my uh, spot welds shut. So uh, I'll lose my little spot welds in here but I think we'll be okay. There'll be the star and a handle coming out here uh, and the reflector. I mean, it's it's not um, a museum piece, it's a driver, so I think we'll be fine not having spot welds uh, showing in this, in this finish here. So uh, I'm gonna start going around and getting these uh, spot welds removed. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is gonna come in here and I'm gonna cut right at this line. Uh, and then once I get this uh, fully pulled apart, then we'll Move on to the next step.
So with our first step complete, our next part is to get this panel nice and flat. We have this edge, which will be kind of our guide, and you can see it kind of ducks in and goes around here. Um, so we'll definitely need to be uh, doing some pounding to bring this out. Uh, typically you use a um, dolly, which is, you know, uh, essentially goes on the back side of a panel if you're working on a curve. Uh, with this being flat, I'm going to use my um, my uh, channel iron that I have. I'm, I'm going to start with that to try to see if I can uh, bring this to a place that is flat. So let's get started and um, I'll just roll the, the footage while I uh, try to get this level.
So that wraps up the hammer and dolly work on this fender. I've gotten this panel as smooth as I can get it, or as smooth as, as I want to get it. I'm sure I could keep working on it uh, and smooth it even more, but I don't think that's needed, especially since this is a driver Jeep. We'll have some parts. Uh, they're gonna be covering up a lot of this uh, section. There's gonna be a star, handle, a uh, reflector here. So uh, between that and throwing a little skim coat and uh, you know sanding that off, I think we'll be just fine. The main goal was to get this edge on the same plane as the rest of the wheel opening, which I think we did. Now, the next step in our three-phase journey of this wheel sheet metal project is to weld in the new piece of sheet metal uh, that I had acquired. Now, this is going to be welded to this inner side, the new piece of sheet metal. Uh, so I'm going to drill some holes in uh, that so that I can spot weld through that onto this. From here, I can use the flex that's already in this panel uh, and, and line it up where I need to. I'll ream these out just a little bit bigger uh, along here and along here uh, so that I can uh, you know, get a good spot weld on all of this. Then I'll grind those off and it should provide a, a smooth edge. And then finally, I'll do a bead along here where this will meet. Uh, I'll probably drill some holes to get some spot welds in between uh, the uh, toolbox surround and this new uh, piece here. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, you know, it's gonna be a, just a little bit of a process kind of working it in. Just like when we pulled it out, uh, there's a couple spot welds I had to uh, search for and find. Uh, this is going to be kind of the opposite of that. It's just trying to baby it in, uh, maybe grind a little here and saw a little there and weld a little there. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. So we have most of our spot welding done, except a few of the spot welds down here and then around on the back side. Uh, what I discovered is there is a gap in between the reproduction panel and the original panel. So what I'm going to do is take a clamp and clamp those together so that I can get a nice good spot weld going all the way back around. And that should finish us up with the spot welds. 
From there, we're going to work on the front edge where the fender meets the reproduction panel. I'll run a bead of weld along there, uh, then grind it down and uh, you know kind of hammer it, finesse it. I'll have to push the um, you know the the fender down to make sure that it mates and creates a nice secure butt weld. But uh, again, that's uh, Pretty much after that, that, that'll pretty much wrap it up for this job. So uh, let's roll and get that done.
So the welding went well, but I wasn't able to push this down to close the gap on this side as much, so there's a little bit of a bridge of weld material in this section, but not bad. I'll be able to grind this down and weld it, grind it down and weld it, and uh, I think that'll give me a good smooth edge that'll replicate what that factory bend is. Uh, if you can see, the heat uh, made kind of a uh, discoloration, and you can almost see the little uh, uh, areas where the other side of the uh, panel melted in. Um, so that'll be giving me a good place to kind of uh, start as far as how far back to go to do my grinding, but uh, let's get rolling on that. So I'm getting closer, but I still have a ways to go. What happened here on this side is a lot closer to what I want. Unfortunately, this here is a little on, on my uh, left here. Um, as a result of what I mentioned earlier, the uh, um, panel pulling up, it has a lot of this extra slop around. So I'll just have to, uh, I think, hit that a little with a little more targeted edge. I think that uh, metal cutting saw if I get in there should do but otherwise it's just gonna be uh, a little bit of welling a little bit of grinding a little bit of welling so I'll just kind of do that off camera here
So I'm getting close, uh, getting pretty excited here that we are almost done. I have a little bit to tack in here, here, and here. Uh, and then I'll throw, I think, a little bit over in here. Uh, as I went through and I looked at this with a light behind it, uh, I noticed that, you know, there's a spot here and, you know, maybe a spot or two in here that, uh, actually, let me find that. Yeah, there's a spot here with my light behind it. I can see a spot here and a couple spots in here. Um, so uh, without using my flap disc to make the surrounding metal paper thin, uh, which is a concern of mine, uh, I'm going to probably hit this one more time uh, and then use uh, filler just to smooth things over because really uh, from a structural standpoint and you know from a mostly metal standpoint I, I'd say I'm pretty close. Uh, as far as these guys uh, I'm gonna take a Dremel and use that to get this and this uh, maybe throw a tank or two in here uh, just because I uh, can't get in there with the bigger tools. So let's get done with that. So that wraps it up for this job. This panel is as straight as I can get it, and I think it looks good. If I were to leave it just the way it is and paint it, I think it'd look decent, uh, but I'm gonna go that extra step and put a skin coat of body filler on. You know, just some of the little variations in this area can get uh, smoothed out. Really, it's just gonna be a paper thin coat on here uh, when it's all said and done, which is great, which is what you really wanna go for. Now, this piece is installed successfully. If I had to do it over, I would uh, take a flap wheel and sand the edges around where it was going to be welded. And I think that would help my adhesion uh, as, as far as it uh, goes relating to getting it welded. So something to learn uh, you know, for next time. Now, uh, if I were to also do it again, I would also uh, try to get the gap on this edge done a little bit better. Uh, that obviously, as you saw, was a little bit of a challenge for me, but I think that's just something that comes with experience. So I'm pretty happy with it right now, and I think we're ready to go on to the next project. If you liked the video and you found it useful, please like it and subscribe. Uh, thanks again, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.